Let's bring it, Aunt Clemens in the building. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Hold on, let me bring my bro in. How y'all feeling, how y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Let's see, let's see, let's go. Hey! And I'm dressed up real to the T because I had to do a prom, but I see. You know, I had to make sure I stepped into the other room to get ready for you. You know what I'm saying? We had Oh this look, now nah, I feel all special and stuff. Look, I'm over here like I'm just trying to I got I'm in a gamer seat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a gamer seat down there. No, man, I am so grateful that you came though, because like strictly RV is my baby. So right. you know, but like did you ever go to your prom? Did you ever go to prom? Yeah. Who you went to prom with? Shayna Jackson, my home girl from oh, Willowbro. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Cause like, what's crazy is I went to her prom and she, uh, she went to my prom too. It was like, it was dope. For some reason, I was thinking about like the eighth grade dance, and that was like my home girl, uh, Chelsea Holiday. But it wasn't her. So I'm thinking about prom. Hey, you remember the eighth grade date too? Yeah, it was crazy. I think I think I went to eighth grade prom with my best friend Kayla, and we dressed as like twins and like we had on our chucks with our. Dresses on. Chuck dresses, yo. Oh, yeah. It wasn't like it was like, oh my god, I can't believe they wore sneakers with their dresses. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we've been setting trends, so that's funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, for real, like, thank you so much. I'm gonna tag your name at the bottom because right, I have, I have to get all acclimated to being in a different setting mm -hmm. than I am. What you been doing today? working man i see you just did a release what you talking about you working you working working oh god is good i can't complain about a, a thing shout out noah cyrus like she's a goat she allowed me to, like be on this amazing record called wonder years and it's just a super blessing to be a part of it but now i just came from the studio and i'm getting ready to go to a whole nother session after this and i'm actually in the middle of a session as we like are talking right now so it's like yeah so i'm on a facetime session but i'm like has Back this book. just well congratulations on the release first of all i haven't Thank even got you. a song because i've been working mm -hmm. while it's lit you ever seen the show wonder years it's, it's about the, it's lit first i like all, it one of my favorite shows that was one of my favorite shows too so i saw them splits and i was like i'm playing <laughs> what about what about wonder years like so important to your upbringing though like because i know it's, important for me, but. it's like the classic american story of just like Teenage love. Teenage love. Like, it was the, the OG Boy Meets World. Like, it's like... Oh, for sure. It was a classic show. It was, just, it was so perfect. Like, I love that show. So, wait. Okay, so how did you get... You know, because I know you have the Mama, Mama I Made It song. And I just know... You know how I feel about you. But, like, I know how everyone else feels about you. And I know your mom probably feels like... She's like, y'all don't even know. I've been loving him. I knew he was it since the phone. Yeah feel right now after, after that how do you feel and how's your mom feel about your success and where do you feel like you're going i hate to be cliche and use like excited as like the the word to describe it but like excited for real for real like my mom is so happy and i can't be any <clears throat> any more happy that uh happier that i made her, her proud for real for real like she's one of my main motivations she was one of my biggest fans, my main source of just like keep going and the one that, that with my dad instilled the God in me that like helped me get me to where I am today. So without my mom, none of this would be possible. And I love, 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 love that she's able to see the fruits and of the, the labor of like all the sacrifice she did just to get me here. So yeah, nah, she's the greatest. Are you close to your parents? Your, your parents so you said your mom mom is close to mm -hmm. yeah close to my dad my mom close to my dad i don't talk to my dad as often as my mom i talk to my mom every day i talk to my dad probably every okay. other day that nigga all right like <laughs> come on baby. come on he won't make it all right he cool he, he, he cool so, <laughs> nah, i love my i love him i love the death that okay. love my people and my okay. sisters i talk to my sisters every single day so it's it's out of control I don't talk to Ashley every day. I definitely I talk to Amber every day, though. It's like, oh, my God, Cam is in here, y'all. That's Cam Daylight. Like, He's the GOAT. Like, you don't even know he is here. He is here. He is the GOAT. He is a GOAT. He's going, oh, my God. Hey, Callie, what up, girl? 
you to understand because you're so humble. And I know that that has to be something from your parents that has instilled in you. But what has kept you so humble within all the success? Because I know for a fact, you know, you're, you're a man of faith. You, you, you and I talk. We, we're actually supposed to be reading the book together. Shout out to Todd. Shane, thank you, Todd. Right. <laughs> Oh God. Right now, um, God, God, God's kept me through it. Um, God's kept me completely grounded because when I had absolutely nothing, God was like, "Yo, I'm right here. Like, I'm not. Le I've never left your side ever." And from dream and inception to reality, God's been with me every step of the way through everything. And every time I don't, I try to do something without God. It's when it goes, it never, it never pans out the way it's supposed to. So making sure that God is first in my life is a main priority, like a main, main priority. And aligning myself with his word just to make sure that I'm doing what it is that he wants me to do. So that all my things, just everything I want to do kind of just falls in line like after that. For real, for real. Like you said, you know, everything falls in line. What is the, what are the next steps for Aunt Clemens? Because there's this pandemic that seems to be holding so many people, you know, down, you know, mentally. And, and I feel as though, you know, the people that don't, haven't found God, you know, we, we advise you to find it. As sure oh, I see somebody right here in the live that hasn't found God. Go, go, Mara. Oh. Jesus Christ. We, we should put hands and pray. Go, go, go. go. Y'all put, put some prayer hands in the comments for go, go, oh. Mara. Just so that she finds the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're going we gonna to pray for you. All y'all are each other. <laughs> Thank you a compliment. I think somebody else I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming too, and I was like. Oh, oh that's Jet. Yeah, yeah, Jet, yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> too fun. Nah, but like, honestly, though, this is like one of the most. Oh my gosh. Hey, baby! Listen, y'all, I'm still mic'd up. Can, can you help me get this mic up? I, I'm still mic'd up um, from the prom that we're doing. So it looks like they've been able to hear everything we've been talking about. <laughs> That's lit. I hope they got some good God advice, amen? Advice. At that prom. That prom for the kid. For the kid. <laughs> And back to you, Bob. <laughs> Get it back to you. <laughs> Bibi Borelli in here. We love you, Mwah. The goats. Um, and so, and you have so many fans from, from ones that have been in the game and well-respected and to newer ones that have literally just been, I mean, like every second, they're like, first of all, can we just get on and deep? Because when you played that song for me, you knew that was my jam. Right, that was funny. <laughs> released it. I mean, I tell you, I listened to that song back to back to back to back to back to back. So I know, you know, from writing from other people to now writing for yourself and you being the artist, how has that contrast been working for you? It's been, it hasn't really been too much different because like I tend to write from an honest place. So like those are the best songs I feel like anyway. So a song that's honest to me can kind of transcend and be honest to someone else. Um, it was just kind of easier to tell my story because I had like a lot of records to choose from. All right, like five or six songs a day. So I had a catalog when it came time to figure out like what we were going to do for Happy to Be Here. My biggest advice for real for real, to anybody that's like watching that, that's aspiring, that's trying to figure it out is to just keep writing, keep going, whatever you're doing. If you produce, keep producing because that one beat that's your favorite beat, make that your worst beat. Make that, like that should be a constant, like, you know, the constant goal. I, at least that's what I, that's how I look at life every day. Like I wake up and I'm like, well, what's the song that I was sent here to 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 do? Like, what's what was making sure that my purpose is fulfilled and that God is in the forefront, even through the midst of what I want to do. All oh, the go Willie Taylor's in here. Oh my God, it's day twenty six Willie in this bit. Oh, day twenty six Willie in this. Listen, that's my nigga. that is my man, yo. I want to see I <laughs> do for <the> me. <laughs> All right. No, seriously. No, but we, we were on purpose. And that's why I, I don't want to forget my question because, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. Me, we, Desi mentioned this last last week about um, purpose and the being driven in the book. 
that was surrounded about what the guy started for him. So what start? What was it for you that got it started for you, and how that that beginning of like, okay, you know what, this might not be my best song, but like I'm gonna keep going. Um, and when you knew that this was your purpose, um, it's different. It's like music was therapy to me, honestly. So like I used it as a way to give like all my emotions just that outlet to just like let it go like in 2009 my parents was going through a divorce and i really didn't have nowhere to like talk about it so i started writing songs and i'm like oh i'm not holding on to it anymore i can kind of let it go and i'm like a lot more empty so i'm not really walking around with the burdens of whatever it is i can write a song about it and it'll exist forever in song form but it's like at least i don't have to carry it on me every day uh right. i found my purpose in that because not only was I telling my story, but when I talked to friends, I would be able to tell their story and, like, help them get through what they were going through through a song that, you know, I was writing that they were inspired by or for them, which then kind of pushed me into writing with artists because I always loved music. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure everybody's loved music, but, like, I always loved Michael Jackson. And I wanted to do as much as I could to be, like, a light, like how he was to the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well if I come in the game, not as an artist, not as everybody focused on me. If I come in helping and become an asset, right. then I become valuable. And when I become valuable, that's when the want for people to see me as an artist might be there. So I was like, oh, that might be the route I kind of want to take just in planning like how I wanted my life to look. But right. I also talk to God. So at the end of it, you just got to bring it back to God at the end of the day with oh. everything. At the, end of it, at the end of the day, you got to bring it back to God. Mm -hmm. Just to add, that, just for that clarity, you know, just to make sure you're doing the, the right way that he wants it. I, I yes. appreciate you saying that so much. And I think what's, what's important about that is just that you knew the necessity of what the industry, you know, what will never change. Like, it's like, yeah. okay, don't if I don't have the qualities of what an artist is for what I think for myself, you know, what can I bring to the table? And you said you knew your words. And what your pen just was that strong, you know what I'm saying? Which is just so commendable. Like I think that. What's is funny is I'll let you in on a secret, right? Mm, please do. I'm not the best writer. Like actually, I'm not even near <laughs> the best writers. Like my favorite writers of all time, I'm not even scratching the surface of, of of them. My superpower, I believe that God blessed me with the ability to make friends and to make mm -hmm. people feel good. So I feel like my purpose is fulfilled in talking in sessions and, and going through sessions because I'm not sure you, you've been in sessions before they're therapy mm -hmm. first time you get in with somebody and they got a song on their heart it's therapy it's like okay word I'm breaking down my walls you're breaking down your walls and it's like kindergarten honestly and it's like yo we in the sandbox since the sandbox I don't really know you but hey we're here to make this thing that comes right. true right. and it's like I don't want to lose my initial point where I, like, I got so stuck in like just the, the no, no. goodness of it. But the the process honestly is like the journey is the reward for real for real. That's what I was trying to get to, honestly. It's like it it's going through whatever you've gone through to get to where you're going, but using your story to be able to propel someone else. Because when you realize that your story is the thing that makes you different, then you can sound like somebody, but you won't sound like anyone else when I mean, you're sounding like yourself, when you start speaking from yourself. Right. And it's been, a, it's been a rough journey. It hasn't been the easiest, but I stayed prayed up. I have had people praying for me. Um, I, I'm human. So it's like you, you have your days when it's like not as easy to be as holier than thou, right? <laughs> But it's like every day you just have to try to be better than you were yesterday. And that's what I honestly believe is just like you just got to keep pushing and keep pushing forward. So, yeah, no, honestly, I, th I feel like I, I'm not even a good writer. I feel like I'm cool, but I don't think I'm like the best. I feel like my, my gift was that I was able to be friends with people, right? For real, for real. Favorites. I was able to be friends with people. And that's what keeps you in the room. Because when you get in these sessions with these artists, it's not really, everybody's talented. What's everybody's that? talented. It's about what can you bring to the room that people are going to remember when you leave the room. 
what's the experience what's the what what happened here that made it worth your 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 while what's your purpose of being here right. you know so it's like yes we're here to write a song i'm gonna come in i'm here to write the song that's my trojan horse but once i'm in the door i'm gonna give you and hi this is who i am i love god and i'm here to do this. whatever we're here to do right i think and that, that's so crazy that you said <laughs> Like, it, it, it's because it, when I first met you, I remember being like, who is this man with all this good energy and not being a perv, not being a creep, just okay. good. I'm a man. <laughs> I'm just a man. I'm just a man. <laughs> and like, laugh is in and you have that great energy, but I can tell that what I knew from the jump was that, like, you, you I, like I said, you brought a value. And into so that room that that you're you're in, whether you're like you know you're just in there vibing or you're in there working, regardless, that value was always heated out with your personality, which was just infectious. And you know I what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Then you win person. Yeah, Derek. And uh, yeah, Derek, I see you. Yeah, you want to? Hey, girl, what I did? I did. <laughs> oh, that's key in here too. Hey, yes, man, niggas, I know. Child is made to go. I hear too. So, so last, my last question too, because I know everybody wants to know, you know, how the, the, the mama I made it, you told, you, you, you give the story, kind of a little background of how Kanye just put you on his album, you had no clue. Give us the background about that and how, how, how close Kanye's relationship is in. You know, I mean, obviously the Sunday services are taken off, you know, and it's one of those things that for you, I'm sure you never thought in a million years when you got into the music industry that this would be a thing. They're turning up right now. Mm -hmm. It's lit. It sounds like good. 2020 class, 2020. Congratulations. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. And All right, like. Let me know. I'm sorry. No, look, short and sweet. I signed the NDA, so I can't say nothing. I'm sorry. Right. Second place. Second, 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 second. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, for real, like Kanye is one, has been one of the biggest blessings that's ever, been, like, ever happened in my life. Well, went from wearing them stunner shades when I was in like middle school to standing on a mountain with Kanye at Coachella. It was, I can't ask for a better life. Like for real, for real. Um, the, the, the way we had did all mine happened just on a whim, just being in the right place at the right time. And when Kanye heard it, he was like, oh no, this is what I've been looking for. So wow. it kind of goes back to the testament of like, if you just stay persistent and keep doing what you're supposed to be doing, the thing that you're supposed to be doing is always going to find its home when it's supposed to. I didn't go in the studio and say, I'm going to make a Kanye West record. Right. I went in the studio and said, I want to make a great record. And a good one came out. You know what I mean? Like, a, a good one. You know, so let's see, y'all going to get that bar later. Come on, y'all. Anyway. <laughs> um, but in I all of it, the blessing is that I was able to stand next to one of my favorite people as he was going through his walk with Christ. So as I was also going and growing and figuring everything out uh, with my walk, here's my boy that, that was an idol, but now is a brother. And it's like, that's my guy. And we're both on this journey trying to uh, make sure that we are aligned with what God wants us to, to, to be doing in the world. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I feel the presence. I'm sorry. I just, every time we talk, because I know... I know what you're what you're brought to on this physical form is is so great, and I just feel like happy to be here is just like you know explanation that sums it up about who oh the hats is here too oh yeah I was about to say um, they so, here they here they're coming they're coming <laughs> it's official too so they coming because you you're doing it right now you're dropping releases. You got a video game out. In the app store right now. I got to get on my Cal and Diddy, like, the, just promotion. In the app store right now. Let in Clemens World, if you want to play it. know where they can find the app, what the name of the app is. In Clemens World, in the app store, Marketplace. All of them good app downloadable places. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we love you so much here at Strictly R&B. I know we love you more. Thank you so much for real, girl. 
Y'all, I need y'all to go listen to the new releases because it's out right now with Noah Cyrus. So. And we got more music coming. We got a lot of music coming. Stuff is dropping very, 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 very soon. Very soon. And he said <laughs> very soon a lot of times, so that means that it might be coming this week. So y'all just need to stay tuned. Hey, y'all just need to pay attention to see what's going on. Stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Right. Stay tuned. And we love you so much. And don't forget... Keep God first. Amen. Every time. Come on, something. Listen, I'm going to go shout. I'm going to holler at you later. <laughs> My page. Like, Todd, we're going to be reading that book soon. Amen. All right.